Welcome to Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois nonprofit home video and artworks creations. In this particular video we will be looking at the black African Ethiopian lion sphinx that ruled over ancient Giza, Gaza, Gath, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem. He was denied in theological racism by the 1611 King of England 400 years ago when the King of England appointed 72 Greek and Hebrew scholars to fly to Giza, Gaza, Gaf, Ikra, Escalon, Palestine, Ethiopia, and Jerusalem and study the Islamic Aramaic Dead Sea Scrolls. This is where the entire English Bible in America today was copied from the African Sphinx uh, descendants as the line. And so when we look at the Dead Sea Scrolls, we, first, we must first identify how this language looked. So if you give a blank sheet of paper to all of the presidents in the Middle East, like Syria, Iran, Iraq, uh, Jordan, uh, Egypt, you give uh, all of the uh, presidents a blank sheet of paper and tell them to, to write their life story on it. And once they're finished, you put these blank sheet of paper on the blackboard. Then you take the DSC scrolls and put it next to these uh, 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 sheets of paper uh, in which all of these Islamic Aramaic DSC scrolls speaking presidents in the Middle East uh, is using or speaking today. So you will see that this is the language of the DSC scrolls. Okay, now as you look at this same language up on the Arab viewed African continent as viewed with satellite imagery then we see that in order to draw a map of who spoke this Dead Sea Scroll language we must uh, view the entire African continent so when we draw 12 white lines uh, vertical lines from south to north across the African continent we discover something amazing we see Islamic Aramaic Dead Sea Scrolls being generated from the uh, shadow of mountains and the crevice and valleys so on my video I've outlined the African continent Think 75 face. So it's a land surface Sphinx image that has eyes, nose, and mouth, and he's wearing a real headdress. So this is an Egyptian headdress. Now in the Egyptian headdress area we see Islamic Aramaic Dead Sea Scroll language. So you say this is one of the greatest archaeological, theological, astronomical discoveries of all time. In which Laurel Smith of Chicago, Illinois, nonprofit home video and artwork creations has discovered upon the air view African continent as seen from space. So as we rediscover the Aramaic Islamic Dead Sea Scrolls attached to the African Sphinx 75 geographic face image wearing a royal headdress, we must notice one thing about this African continent. We have drawn 12 white vertical lines from south to north and uh, when viewed with satellite imagery we see African people living in each of the 12 lines hence we get the term the 12 African continent tribes which de denied the which actually denies the 12 sons of Jacob in the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible that's read in every neighborhood church so you say well uh, what is the original discovery concerning the African Sphinx speaking Islamic Aramaic Dead Sea Scroll language in which the 400 year old mistranslated King James Bible was copied out of and from into English and Latin and Greek. Well when we go back to the African continent we see that the 12th white line falls in Egypt. Okay so you say well wait a minute so we have 12 African continent tribes that was denied in the 400 year old mistranslated English Bible in the Egyptian era right so now you gotta realize that from south to north you have 12 vertical white lines going across the African continent and this is where we discover holy Africans in each of the lines so the 12 holy uh, African continent tribes was denied in theological racism within the English Bible as exists as it exists today okay now when we look at the 12 African continent tribes we must first identify the origin of Judaism okay as being in the 12th line you say wait a minute what's in the 12th line if we draw 12 white lines across the African continent from south to north 
Well, the twelfth line falls in North Africa, where Egypt is located. Okay, now you say, well, uh, so this is where we geographically redetermine the holy, redetermine the holy Africans in Ethiopia and Egypt. Okay, now you say, well, what is that twelfth white line? Uh, in what does it it encompass? Well, it encompasses it encompasses the entire North African land surface. Where Egypt, uh, Sinai, Mount Sinai, the holy mountain in the Bible, where a UFO that had three fingers and one thumb, blackish gray extraterrestrial gardens of our entire solar system. Now this.